We decided on the mission, found a show, and had a blast. Then, late into the night, I sat beside Aim on a train heading home, carrying a besotted variety of friends and enemies, vampires and shades. The return with a rumbling and rush of air as we picked up speed in the tunnels back to Oakland. She was going on about how it felt to be a rock star for a minute, having been invited up on stage to draw a soup spoon like a bow across some homemade instrument they gave her, supposed to pass for a violin. And we all laughed about how terrible that sounded, yet everyone drunk enough to love her for trying to channel Zappa. Then the train ascended, and I felt a strange tension reminiscent of some intangible tucked far away into my past, a bad energy in my high wearing thin. We slowed, the electricity flickered, then picked up the slack and I saw both maze and aim fixed upon someone. They hustled me off of them at Broadway station, not without my protest, asking why the hell we weren't going on to MacArthur I was hoping to hit the motel, the Imperial Budget Inn. Budget was the more accurate of markers, where I was staying with Bless and Freddy. My secret stash of somas and perks going to be my best friends and help me to sleep. We rolled through turnstiles and out and up into the street, where the Paramount's marquee was all lit up, towering over the orange of a Broadway night. I realized they were following somebody, and I got a real uncomfortable feeling like I was about to be an accessory to a crime. And sure enough, I was.